What's up guys? I did a little Lux shoe shopping, got a pair of comfy kicks, and I even bought a pair of cute pumps from the Barbie and Aldo collab. Not gonna lie, I was a Barbie fan as a little girl, so I just felt I had to get them. I will share what I got along with my thoughts in case any of you are interested in any of these styles. So let's begin. So the first pair I'd like to discuss are these Rene Calvilla shoes. This is actually one of my favorite brands. It's at the top of my luxury shoe list at the moment. And I went with the popular wraparound sandals. I did actually go pretty basic with them. Normally you would see the straps and the ankle part all blinged out, but I wanted something simple that I can wear with casual clothing. I'm not always wearing dressy outfits. Sometimes I do wear casual dresses or casual skirts, and maybe even a casual pair of shorts would go well with these. And I'll show a split screen of how all these shoes look on me, but the pattern on these is snake-like, reptile-like. It's also got like a little bit of a shiny, glossy feel to it and look to it. I don't know if the camera is picking that up. But I feel that reptile skin, snake skin can be a neutral that can match with different types of outfit colors. So let me remove all of this extra stuff so you could see. Okay, so now we have a better view of these beauties. I find these shoes to be so elegant, sexy, and classy at the same time. And of course, my favorite part is the bottom. I mean, it's such a glamorous statement to be walking and people can see the back of your shoe of how blingy they are. I just find that to be so cool. I did have to go a half a size up with these. Apparently these run small, whether it's a half size or a full size, probably depending on the width of your foot. But I am a 36 and a half normally and I went with the 37 and they fit perfectly. I was always hesitant in getting these shoes because I have such skinny ankles that it just sometimes just doesn't look good with wraparound shoes. But surprisingly, it actually didn't look that bad and I was content enough to keep them. They do have the signature snake head at the end here. As far as comfort level, it's hard for me to tell at the moment because I didn't wear these yet. But I do feel, you know, after a while, your feet might hurt and this might dig in too much into the ankle. So that's kind of what I foresee. Uh, Price-wise, I did not pay retail. I always do a lot of searching for sales and I always find some kind of sale. Uh, this was the last pair in Neiman Marcus, or was it Saks? One of those. And the price was way below 500. Up next are these Amina Mwadis. Also picked these up at a great sale. Ooh, this is fancy. I wish I could use this as a pillowcase. I think I paid like or below $400. Nordstrom was having an amazing sale. And these are called Gilda. Ooh, these are nice. So let me take these out so you guys can see them in a full view. Okay, now we can fully view these. As I mentioned, this style is called Gilda and I just love this rainbow array of crystals. The way they sparkle is so beautiful. Very great quality of the stones. I did go with my size in this particular shoe. I believe Amina Mwadi is uh, true to size from what I heard, and that has been true. It has the signature heel here. This is a baby pink satin style. It is more of a dressier shoe, but I think I can get away with maybe a pair of jeans and a nice blouse. What do you guys think? Either way, they will be worn. When I did try these on, the straps felt comfortable. They do have like an elastic piece here that stretches out just a tad in case you have a wider foot here at the top. But I'm not sure how these would do after a few hours of wearing them. One con of the shoe is that they're satin and we all know satin is very delicate. So the toe section might get dirty at some point. But I do find these to be a lovely pair of shoes. Not much else to say, except I just think they're super gorgeous. And I love the way these rhinestones sparkle. Okay, so these Gian Vito shoes I have already purchased in the past. I did show them in one of my older videos, probably like a year ago. I was doing a Fendaci reveal and it was for a swim piece. And I showcased these shoes and it was a fail because they were not my size. I don't know why I picked up a six. Uh, when I should have picked up a six and a half. I never forgot about them after I had returned the six and 
Come a year later, I decided to repurchase them. I found them on Essence and I got my size. They were like 350, so they were on a really good sale. And usually this style is like 795 in most stores. Usually the ones that are colored like purple, pink, I've seen yellow, those always go on sale. I've seen those for like $200, but I really wanted the nude. Since you can literally match these with everything, I have already worn them. They're not the most comfortable, and if you do have wide feet, this is gonna dig into your toes. I have a relatively slim foot and it kind of was digging, but it wasn't to the point where I just wanted to take them off and throw them away. These are such great neutral shoes, especially because they're nude. You literally can match them with any outfit, any jewelry color, or different colored handbags. Wear them for any season and they'll just work for you at all times. It's funny because when I was searching for these again, I actually saw an image of Jennifer Lopez rocking these shoes uh, just recently too. And I found it funny because I didn't think that these shoes were that popular that celebrities would actually wear them. But I, she's wearing like some cargo pants or some baggy pants with these. And that's what I'm saying why I really wanted these back is because you can wear them with those types of pants, wear them with dresses, wear them with skirts, shorts, and they'll just be perfect. The heel size is about four inches. And again, I went with my normal size, 36 and a half. I probably would have been able to even get away with a seven um, because they're that slim fitting. So if you guys are interested in this shoe, you definitely want to try them on in store before you buy them. Up next are these St. Laurent sandals. I need more sandals in my life. I feel like I'm constantly buying high heels and then when I need something more casual, I have a hard time finding that in my wardrobe. So I picked these up from Faux. So these are called the St. Laurent Cassandra sandals in Nero. I got my size. I had tried them on in the store. So I know 36 and a half is my size. Uh, so here's all the paperwork. So let me take them out and show you guys which ones I picked up. Okay, so here are these cute sandals. I haven't tried these on because I literally just got them, but you guys will get to see how they look on me on the split screen. But anyway, what I liked about them is the simple YSL logo. It's not too big. I happen to love the YSL logo. And I like this little toe detail. I feel like it makes the toesies look cute. The heel height is not too high. I believe this is about three inches. And as I mentioned, I did get my size 36 and a half. I do remember trying these on in the store, but it was like months ago. I do remember them fitting fine. So I guess we'll see on the split screen if they actually fit me good. So yeah, a simple everyday sandal that can be worn casually. It has the Saint Laurent stamping here, the YSL emblem is antique gold and from what i remember i think you can push this down and up i guess adjust it as needed so that could be useful i did pay full price for these these were like 850 something so yeah pretty pricey but i'm hoping that i'll get a lot of use out of these Barbie time. So now for some fun shoes. Before I take them out, I did want to show the box. Too cute. It looks like a little doll should be in here. They did add a black material strap here, so it's easier for you to carry the box. And the way you would open it is slide it out like a little drawer. So let me take these out and discuss them further. Okay, so how cute are these shoes? They have the B for Barbie logo all over the shoe. And as you can see, the stones are really, really sparkly. The insole also says Barbie all over it. And they have like this padding inside that I feel make the shoe run small. The main color is like a light pink and it also has like a trim of holographic material as well, even at the tip of the shoe bed. These are just so much fun. The bottom also is blinged out, has the Aldo logo there. I want to say that this part here has a film, or maybe it's just a different color. I don't know. I really can't uh, feel like I can peel that off, but 
It seems like this is probably the more sparklier than this bottom piece here, probably because they know you're just gonna walk on these and ruin it anyway. But yeah, such fun shoes. I believe the heel height is four inches. The PVC material or plastic, whatever this is, it's very malleable. I did try them on immediately when they came in and unfortunately they do not fit. I went with the 36 and a half, which is my usual size, and I should have gone up to a seven when I originally purchased these because there were reviews saying that these shoes are teeny tiny and some people needed to go two size up, some people went one size up, and some people went half a size up. So unfortunately, these are too tight on me. My little toesies are squished in there like sardines, very uncomfortable. I did manage to purchase a size seven, so those are actually on the way here. But to be honest, I don't know how much use I'd get out of this shoe. I almost feel like I just wanna like display them. I mean, who knows, I might wear them. I will say the moment that I did try these on, this is digging in the back of your heel. I highly doubt that these are going to be comfortable shoes. These are retailing for 130, that's what I paid. Uh, I think that you can find these in Macy's, Aldo, DSW, and I even saw them in ASOS, but they kept selling out so quick, but I feel like they're gonna keep restocking them. So if you're hunting these down, don't worry, just keep looking, just keep stalking and you'll find them. What do you guys think of these Barbie shoes? How adorable are they? Did you guys watch the Barbie movie? I haven't even watched it. <laughs> I will at some point, but this collab was just too cute to pass up. Last but not least, I got some comfy kicks. I got a pair of Air Force Ones. I've been always looking for the Carolina blue color with white and I finally found them in the Nike website. This is women's. I got my size six and a half and they fit perfect. I just think this color combination is so dope. They are very comfortable and the price wasn't too bad. I think I paid like $84. They were on sale. Usually Air Force Ones, they're over $100, $150, or even more, depending on what style you get. But yeah, I'm finally happy that I got this color combo. These go great with shorts, jeans, loungewear. Can't always be in heels. A girl needs a pair of comfy Air Force Ones. So that is it for my little shoe haul. I hope some of this was helpful for y'all and somewhat enjoyable. Give it a thumbs up if it was. If you have any questions about any of these shoes or maybe some information that I left out about a shoe, feel free to comment down below. Thank you for taking the time to watch my video. As always, subscribe for some good vibes and I'll check you guys in the next one. Laters.